Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the scribe replacement in Photo Director 365. So I've got a Photo Director open here. I'm in the library section. Under the project tab, click on the import button in the bottom left corner and choose photos. Navigate to your folder, choose your image and click open. So here is the image. Next, go to the Guided section up top, and you'll see this dialog box. Click OK. And in this left side panel, drop down Photo Effects. Next, drop down Sky Replacement. In this left side panel, you'll see some preset sky templates. So let me choose this one. And as you can see, it automatically replaced the sky with this image. Down below, you'll find three settings sliders. For example, the feather slider adjusts the edges of the horizon and the tree in the image, though the changes are pretty subtle. The horizon slider allows you to fade it a little bit. And the land ambient slider allows you to adjust the rest of the picture, as you can see. Finally, if I check this box for Enable Sky Resize and Movement, it zooms out, and then I can use these handles to adjust the sky template like so. I'll uncheck this box. Let me scroll down, and you'll notice even more advanced settings here. And if I check this box, it activates all of these sliders, we can adjust many more settings. Now, I won't cover these advanced settings in this video. I'll be creating a separate video for that. Let me scroll back up. And I'll scroll down right to the bottom in the template section. Here you'll notice these two templates that have these special icons, which indicates that they are animated templates. So for example, if I choose this template number 11, you'll see that the sky is moving. In the Store tab, you'll notice that there are many more templates or template packs. So if you got the Photo Director 365 subscription license, you can download these for free. For example, let me drop down the Sky Pack Volume 1. And as you can see, there are many more sky templates. Let me scroll down to the bottom. And I'll choose the template number 25, which is another animated sky template, as you can see. And once you're happy with the template, you can click the Save As button in the bottom left corner. You can save it as a photo or video. I'll choose Video. And you'll see this dialog box pop up. Choose your folder and file name. Next, choose the file format. I'll stick with the default MPEG-4. I'll leave the default aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Under Profile, you can choose a video resolution. I'll go with 720p. For the duration, I'll set the slider to 15 seconds. And finally click Produce. It will take a few seconds to export the MP4 video. And then once it's done, you'll get a confirmation. And here's how the Sky Replacement video came out of the template that I used. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.